Welcome to Mission Viejo's sixth annual Arts Alive Festival. We're here at the Norman P. Murray Community and Senior Center in the Village Green. Today is day two of this fun-filled event weekend. And we'll be talking to a variety of artists as well as the people who make this Arts Alive Festival possible. Let's go see what everyone has in store for today. theme this year is the 1950s and we're just so pleased to have about 83 uh, street painting artists and 36 I think 36 are uh, arts and crafts vendors and then we have several workshop presenters out on the village green and entertainment is going every hour on the hour and people have been streaming in and so far it's just been very exciting and and a very positive experience and our intention behind all of this is to keep the arts alive in Mission Viejo and to keep creativity in our community because the arts really foster tolerance and goodwill toward, toward the, our public and our community. We involve uh, so many community organizations and that has just spread out and this year we had exceptional involvement by Saddleback College theater art students who created all the uh, standout cartoon characters. So we estimate we're getting less yesterday probably about 4,000 people. I would say today already I've worked at the information booth. I'd say we're going to hit 6,000. The City of Mission Viejo provides a location for art vendors. We have a variety of artists. We have people that make jewelry. We have uh, photographers and we have people that have fine art. And they all want to be able to show their work and they may not be able to afford a studio. So this is a, lo um, a great venue for them to come to. And let's go check in with some of the street painters and find out what they find the most rewarding about the Italian Madinari street painting. Well, the festivals originated in Italy, the Montanari festivals in the 70s, and uh, the tradition came to California. Uh, Edgar Mueller and um, Kurt Warner brought it over from Italy to Ber uh, Santa Barbara was the first, where the first Montanari festival occurred in California. Um, today we're painting an Andrew Loomis piece. It's right behind us here, and um, it's basically called The Kiss, I believe and it's, it speaks 1950s. for itself. 1950s sticking with the theme and it's just a very emotional piece and it really is connecting with the audience. So we're happy. I did some research and I, this image of, of Audrey Hepburn uh, caught my attention and that's when I decided to do, paint her. The most important is about the people that I can share my talents to everybody, to my fellow artists, to, uh, to the public, to children. And that's what I like when the children, um, the parents, they like the pieces and the uh, compliments. I did number 10, Elvis, and then my friend Jordan did the Smurf. And it's been awesome. Everybody's really sweet here. There's um, free, free airbrushing for your face. There's been a lot of awesome food. You get meal tickets every day. Yeah, it's been awesome. I've been here with my teacher, Mrs. McFall. She's a new heart. And it's really awesome. Everybody does amazing. Well, me and my cousin are working on Dorothy Dandridge, which was a famous actress from, you know, the 1950s. Um, she was nominated, or one of the first um, African-American women nominated for an Academy Award. It's cool to draw, to paint or draw in general, but it's kind of cool to be out in the open. People can kind of see the process of it from start to finish and how, you know, we lay it out and how we decide to shade it and everything. And in addition to the, all the street painters, there are a lot of artists, vendors, and entertainers out in the Village Green. Let's go meet some of them now. And so we silk screen the image onto the tiles and bring those in, and then the community sits down with us. They follow a color guide so we can have the general color scheme, and then everyone ages 4 to age 90 are able to participate and glaze with us. And then we fire the mural and bring it back to the city where they install it right on the trail, and people come out here, you know, for decades to come, people will be able to come out and it's wonderful. Most of the people that are participating with us here today, they actually have participated in glazing many of the other murals. So we have a real team of experts out here with us. We're letting the public help in painting. 
and I have designed a large canvas uh, featuring the 50s and all the fun things in the 50s and um, the public are helping to paint. Um, it's called Paint by Numbers, but so I put the lines in there and provide all the right colors and the brushes. Today we're just uh, showing kids how to like their first initial play with clay. Uh, we have slab rollers, we're rolling out slab, we're making pinch pods, uh, using clay stamps that we've created at the studio for them to stamp and create texture on their clay. So we brought 98 pounds yesterday and today we brought 200 pounds and we give each kid about half a pound, so just to give you an idea of how many kids we're serving here at Mission Viejo today. Today has certainly been a blast, and by the looks and sound of everything, Mission Viejo's sixth annual Arts Alive Festival has been a wonderful success. For more information about city events, please visit the city website.